Welcome to the Trailblazers PvP challenge. Rug and myself will be grinding it out to create the strongest account fighting three times a week, Thursdays, Sundays, and Tuesdays, alternating between the channels. In Trailblazers, everyone is an Iron Man and has to complete tasks to gain relics. Tasks can be as easy as killing a goblin or getting an infernal cape. Relics unlock powerful combat and skilling buffs never seen before in RuneScape. And once enough tasks are complete, new areas of the map can be unlocked. This season, each fight is important, as winning the most fights before the final fight will put you 1-0 up in the series. Bees and Gs, I said I would show you where we are in the next episode, and here you go. If you missed any of the previous episodes, click the playlist up in the top right corner or in the description of the video to get yourself caught up. But yes, we have chosen Prifterness. Now, the reason for this is uh, we saw that Barrow's armor did almost nothing against me having full, you know, strength, like with Piety and the Dragon Defender, etc., etc. Rog's going to have full Barrow's. He's going to have Piety. He's going to have a Dragon Defender, a Glory, all that stuff. And he will beat me if I go to Mauritania. No doubt about it. He will beat me. He has Last Recall. He can do God Wars a lot better than I can. So I had to come up with a plan. And I have told Rog about this because I felt a bit scummy not telling him. So he does have the choice to pick this if he wants to. But in the Tazar fight pits, where we fight every you know episode, every weapon is allowed. Which means tridents are allowed, which aren't usually able to be used in PvP. So, if we can get a Zolra Magic Fang, make a Toxic Trident, we could Venom Kins. And the problem for Kins is... If he doesn't pick the Elven Lands, there's no way for him to get anti-venom. He can use anti-poisons, but he'd have to fill his inventory up with anti-poisons if he did go that route. So I'm effectively making Rog pick between getting piety, god wars, etc, etc, or just accepting that I'm going to venom him in the fights. So I had to think of something. That's what we've gone for. Let's get into the episode. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to get... We're going to get rid of that is what we're going to do. Uh, rewards... Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of the PvP Trailblazer series. Now, if you did not watch the previous episodes, I highly urge you to go watch them because a lot has happened leading up to this moment. Let's just say the series is very flip-floppy right now, and a lot of things are about to unfold. So go get caught up before watching this video, because Link is going to unlock a new region, and you definitely want to hear his mindset and why he has that mindset, and I'm excited to learn it. Thankfully, I could probably wait to pick my region this episode as well to see what he picked, to see if I can counteract it, because I guess that's the one advantage of uh, picking my region second, is that I can try to counteract any plan, because he said he's not going Mauritania. I think Mauritania is pretty OP, but who knows, he might have a scheme up his sleeve i don't know anyways guys let's start that timer and the first thing we're gonna do is actually go to camelot as you can see a bunch of stuff in my inventory for farming we're gonna do some herbs because i want that 50 renar or that 50 prayer pot task and also i want us to just start inching towards 50 farming for base 50s so we have three locations we can plant herbs with our regions, Mortania, Camelot, and Ardy. It just came back from Ardy. We are using Super Compost. I think Ultra Compost actually is possible, um, but I'm not going to concern myself with it right now. I've already started. And uh, we have three Renar seeds that we're planting. And I think with the Botanist Relic, you actually grow herbs or anything five times faster. So I think these will grow in like 10 minutes because I think herbs normally do take 50 minutes, assuming they go through all their cycles. So we're going to be doing some Brimhaven agility in the meantime while all my herbs grow. It shouldn't take any time at all because all we need is 10 tickets, which should take 11 minutes provided I don't mess up. And there is the Snapdragon. Okay, so the herbs should actually be done. They should actually be done because again, it's five times faster than normal. So let's go check it out. I cannot wait to see how many we get from these three Renar seeds that we had. And also, that's base 30, I believe. Yeah, sick. 50 points as well. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get ourselves a Blood Veil task. Blood Veil, Blood Veil, Blood Veil. There we go. Beautiful. 135 Blood Veils. Very, very nice. Let's go back to Prif and start killing some Blood Veils. And uh, yeah, get ourselves some Slayer XP and range, because we need to get this range up to 70 so we can buy a crystal bow. Um, we have enough funds, I've got enough alks and etc, etc to just go ahead and straight up buy the crystal bow, and then we'll be looking a lot better. 
But before we do that, I want to make myself a magic bow. So we need to get a few fletching levels. I've already got the wood cutting level, so it's just a case of getting fletching levels now um, together because not only is it 200 points to make and wield one, but it's going to be a lot better for when we're uh, getting our Slayer going. Okay, I decided to sack that off because I think it's just going to take too long to get 80 fletching. Uh, I don't really have the time for it. So we're going to try and get ourselves as high up in the uh, the range skill as possible. Um, yeah, just rush 70 to be honest. Right guys, I found a crystal impling. Found a crystal impling. Come on, come on, go get it, go get it, go get it, go get it. Wow, this is a long, long way around. Come on. I don't think anyone else has seen it. I don't think anyone else has seen it. Come on. I think this is points. Just for catching it. Fucking get it. Come on. Catch. Go. Yes. 100 points for catching it. Let's open it up. What are we going to get? A crystal acorn. That's not what we want to see. Uh, I think I might do a few more rounds. Quickly. Here's another one, guys. Boom. Very easy to catch. And we get 217 rune arrow tips. That's actually not too bad for fletching. Okay. All right. Good so far. We have our first superior, so we're going to get tasked for doing this and hopefully get ourselves an imbued heart as well because that would be very, very useful in the final fights. Uh, it's definitely something I'm going to be going for alongside everything else I spoke about at the start of the episode. All three herbs grew just perfectly. Look at this. We're at 24 from our first two and the number's about to skyrocket. So we're going to harvest these, plant another... Then we're going to make the remaining 30 prayer potions that we need for that task. I mean, I probably already made like 15 or so. Then we're off to the Seer's Agility course. The audio was kind of weird on that last clip I just filmed, so I'm filming it now. The fact that I did get the uh, prayer potion task. I ran out of snape grass. My botanist didn't really help me out too much on that one. I think I went through 17 prayer potions and I used two snape grass. So I believe we just walk through here. This is the better one, right? Yes. Oh, that's 100 points. Okay, don't mind if I do. What a task. What a task. Super easy. So the cleanup game in Tai Boawanai. There's a few things you can actually do here, hopefully relatively quick. Um, I'm hacking the light jungle because that's what I see everybody else doing, so I'm kind of just following their footsteps. Um, if we get 2.4k trading sticks, we can buy the red topaz machete. If we get 1.2k trading sticks, we can buy full villager, and this, of course, earns trading sticks in the process. So, it turns out the Taibo Wana cleanup game gives, like, absolutely no sticks at all. I got, like, 23%. Uh, I was talking to some of the villagers. They gave me 35 sticks, and it used up, like, 5% of my... Uh, cleanup reward thing so we got one tribal mask we need a second of the same color so it's just hopping worlds until i found one i hope nobody damaged this one and i hope i could just get the uh mask first kill here i hope i can even pick it up why is he on the jungle so i'm currently just hopping to the world selling three gems per world trying to get enough trading sticks um also with the karamja gloves it's gonna be much quicker than i thought just in the fact that i don't need as many trading sticks and i get more per sell um as well i need 2850 so we want to buy one full set of villager and then a red topaz machete oh my god actually way more than i needed fuck okay well that's a that's a hundred points and this is going to be 60 range coming in, so I will actually go and kill a red dragon probably in Brimhaven to uh, upgrade the gear, but obviously we're going to kill this one just before we uh, go ahead and do that. Taking a little bit of time here, but I expected that with its huge defenses, but we are hitting fairly decently still, and uh, the XP is coming in nicely. There we go, that is the kill, 50k XP. We get bowstring blood runes. No, we got some clues as well there. Nothing too useful though. Just looking for the uh, imbued heart, to be honest. Yeah, got a hard clue. Nothing great. Let's go get some red dragon hide, actually. And there we go. We got ourselves the six dragon hides. So let's fire over to the yeah, ranging guild and uh, get ourselves this all tanned up. And not only is this an upgrade, it is also some points for wearing all of that, which is very nice. Right then. Fuck's sake. This could be very OP in the PvP challenges. I can stun Kins for three seconds with this. Okay. I was angry when I first saw it because this is rare as shit. Uh, I need to go get... I need to go empty my inventory anyway. Let me have a look at how rare this is. Okay, it's either 1 in 1,000 or 1 in 1,000... Uh, or 1 in 11,000. 
Not sure which one, but there we go. Dragon Spear on the account. There we go. 50. Awesome. Yeah, looking looking stylish. I love the hat. I love the hat. I might keep the hat on for a bit. <laughs> Just kidding. This is more stylish than the hat. Hell yeah. Actually, this is pretty this is pretty cool too. Oh, harvest an irate leaf. I forgot I even planted this thing. I just want 40 farming, which is why I'm doing this. That's right. Cool. Awesome. So we also should get a task soon for 40 farming for base 40. And then also we're coming up really close on that 1500 total level, which of course is a task as well. Oh, just caught the end of it there. We just got 1500 total level. I also messed up. Actually, no, we just got 69. It's 69 to catch a dashing Kebit. It's 66 to, to, you know, wield the cape, which is, I find, so odd, but um, is what it is. Not too big of a deal. It took a little while longer, but now we can actually go catch the dashing Kebit, and then we can, um, I gotta go this way, better with the fairy ring, and then we can get that task done. For clothing value, it's too right. Yeah, I just did this on my other account, or else I would have definitely messed up. Uh, 60, are you kidding me? Oh, well, that shot, I just wasted time. I just, oh my god. Okay, well, I mean, we'll hold on to it. Oh, that's so annoying. Shit, I mean, I'm hoping those 50 Shinchampas get me, like, close-ish. Maybe I could still do it relatively easy, but damn it. Eagle's Peak. Oh my gosh. I'm just moving on. I'm just moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Shit, okay, let's, um... Oh, that's so annoying. All right, this actually wasn't too bad. I mean, it's awful. I wouldn't grind here until my range was up. Of course, I don't get spoon-fed like Link, though. I mean, why would I, guys? Why would I, right? But that's a 100-point task. Um, okay, whew. That was an easy one to get out of the way. Hey, there's base 40. This is also probably the last herb run I'll do, but I still have two patches to go to, so... So I want to do the medium diary for Varrock, and both a task for the achievement diaries and for, you know, just a task on Trailblazers is to get the dig site pendant. There's an extra step involved for the actual task, but the hard part is actually getting the pendant. So uh, we got to clean these until we get it, which um, I hear can take a while. So hopefully we get it sooner rather than later, and we could just speed through the rest of the task. This is what's going to hold us back, if anything. Right, there we go, guys. 70 range coming in. We'll uh, chuck on our black dehyde, and I'm actually going to stop ranging now because uh, we can now afford or we can now use the crystal bow. That was the only reason I was going for it because uh, we are going to need that for Zora. But I do want to get my melee stats up, and I want to get these tasks done as quickly as possible because we need to rush 87 Slayer. We need to get to Kraken. We need to get a Trident, etc., etc., so we can do Zora and also so we can hopefully make a Kraken Tentacle or an Abyssal Whip even um, so that we can actually, you know, have that for the fights as well. So we're going to start doing this melee and it's going to speed up incredibly quickly um, and hopefully do a few tasks while we do that as well. Right, this is going to be 87 Slayer coming in, guys. I have smashed the combat stats. They've been uh, going through the roof. Nearly 90 defense, 94 strength, 92 attack. Um, I've been using a pretty good method. I switched my spawn to Prif. When you rub the ring, it takes you right to an altar. So I use that, go back to the altar, or use the altar, and then I click the ring again, and it takes me really, really close to the blood world. So we've been able to just like sit on prayer the whole time, which has been really, really nice. And as I say, this is going to be 87 coming in which means we can then get a kraken task so we're going to cancel this task and go straight for kraken uh managed to gather a load of runes this isn't like everything i've been banking as well um what are we gonna get Addy chain body nothing great there uh managed to get a load of runes load of alcohols uh the loot tracker is saying we made about 2.5 mil obviously that is ge value but a lot of that is alcohols and runes and stuff so we're looking really really good i don't know why i'm doing this i should have used the ring but oh well we'll just go to the bank here um so yeah let's go get a kraken task and start killing the kraken a one hour 15 to see if we can get a trident so i think wearing black dehyde is going to be the best for me with kraken i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm going to try it anyway i'm pretty sure it has a magic level of like one and you can just you know wear a glory etc etc um we don't actually have high enough crafting to make a black dehyde body yet which is a little annoying i think i've got a few spare yeah so we need three to make one so i can make a i can just get a few crafting bits of crafting xp here but uh yeah i will have to get that crafting up at some point got to anyway to uh get the uh the ring and stuff so no worries 
Ooh, think we got it. Think we got it. I found something interesting. Pretty necklace, enchanted. Yep, yep. Come on, come on. Study that baby closely. We need to make our own, right? We rub and go to Fossil Island. That is the task, right? Yes, beautiful. This quest should have taken much longer, but the relic, cool. The, the, the melee relic is just amazing. Sped it up so, so much, right? Uh, is this quest complete? Because we need this for a task and we need it to also do the medium diary for Varrock. Perfect. 50 points. I'm going to get my body and then it looks like we actually get the antique lamp, which I thought you couldn't use until you're 50 plus, but apparently it's 40 plus. Mm, can I have the Varrock plate body? Boom. Oh, no, I already got it. Okay. Farming. Please tell me I got this right. Farming. Confirm. Oh, 90k. 52 farming. What the fudge, man? So this guy right here drops a rune pick 1 in 128 and also drops an Addy pickaxe 1 in 128. Now, the main reason why I'm here is not to do the task to mine with a rune pickaxe. It'd be great to get it, but mainly I just want a better pickaxe so I can rush uh, 50 smithing for that task. Kill 53. I was actually getting very nervous because that started to take a long time. Actually, I mean, I'm well into drop rate, but I mean, it's a much slower kills than I than I thought, to be honest. But, oh, okay. Let's let's do some smithing now. Um, so we got the task with the rune pick once we mine an ore. We can also get the geode, which would be a nice task to get. Um, I'm probably... Actually, here's what we're going to do. Let's get out nature runes. And let's get out our fire staff. Uh, we got a runite ore as well, which is also one in 128. A nature talisman, that was a slap to the face. We can equip that, um, bank that. Let's see what we want to do. Have this, we can bank that. And yeah, we're probably going to make steel bars is what I'm going to go for. And try to nail out these tasks. And also we can make a mithril grapple, which I think will be a nice, easy way to get 50 points and a task done as well. So we got a few coming up. Ah, there it is. And I just found out that there isn't any iron here. So after this inventory, I'm probably just going to mine underneath the tree gnome because I don't need too many and I can't think of any place off the top of my head that's going to be much quicker. So, uh, but these will be steel bars and it will be superheating. So, should be quick. Sort of forgot that these guys drop it more commonly. It is uncharged, but I think it's just a case of getting the trident. Um, is what we need right now. So I'm actually super prepared to go in there, but we're actually going to just <laughs> take on these guys. Although we are getting hit. So you know what? We'll take it. Hopefully. Let's see if we can get a trident. Well, thanks then, Kraken. <laughs> I actually went to put my phone on charge, came back, trident on the floor. Amazing. We can't wear it yet. So I'm probably going to just try and rush, rush? rush 75 magic as quickly as possible. So apparently just splashing at the Kraken is one of the fastest ways people are getting magic at the moment. So I'm just going to sit here and splash here. We've got so many runes. Hopefully get us close enough. This will be 72 coming in. Uh, what we got? Un just under an hour. So yeah, let's do this. This is pretty AFK and chill and, uh, and I don't have to worry about dying, which is nice. So I actually just went and grabbed a load of alkables out of my alkable tab and apparently splash alking is the way to go. That seems to be what... A lot of people are doing to get like sick magic XP, so that's what we're gonna do and get a little cash stack while we're at it. Here it comes, 75 coming in. I think it's a task to wield the trident. There we go, 75 magic. Is it a task? Boom, it is, and that is 100 points. Wow, that's a. I thought it was gonna be a 250. Uh, we're now gonna go and do Elemental Workshop 2. Okay, that should be the quest completed. 50 points for doing the quest and a load of crafting and smithing XP, taking us to 62 smithing and 71 crafting. So we are now one level away from being able to make that black dehyde body. I got the geode. I got the, ge it's a beginner. I'll try to do that as well because that's a task, but um, West of Varag, okay, we could start it, but I I really doubt I could do it. I like, especially with those easies, I feel like you really need Asgarnia. We should have two tasks about to come up. The first being base 50, which I'm very excited about because that took a while to get, was a lot of tasks. The second, we can finally make this mithril grapple. The grapple needs to be attached to a mithril bolt first. I actually think I have one. That's awesome. Okay, hold on a sec. In there. Ooh, interesting. Oh, okay, that's it. Let's just put that on there. Cool. That is the fishing trawler finished. Did we get a piece? Did we? Did we? Ooh, we did. I mean, that's a task to get all four pieces. Ooh, that's a lot of XP. Shit. Wow. Okay, cool. 
cool, cool, cool. 56 smithing. And 68 crafting. By the way, guys, that's actually pretty big because this means we can make glories the moment we could, of course, you know, get our hands on a dragon stone. All right, we need one mackerel. And there it is. And that's the task complete. And if we just tell you to Camelot and come on right over here, the wedge. Oh, he's got a gut, but uh, let's get that reward. Got the headgear, but we got the antique lamp. Again, put it right into farming and 30k farming experience, 56 farming. All right, guys, you know what time it is. It's time to go for the fire cape. We went for it once and we kind of fucked up badly. Thankfully, we didn't get to Jad, so we saved about half the time it took to get there. Um, but I feel like I know how to do it more just by watching videos and I can kind of take my time now because I definitely have enough prayer pots as well. So let's see how this goes, guys. Hopefully it's going to be a quick one. I don't think it'll be under 35 minutes, but hey, if I was able to do it, that's a task in itself. And I don't think I'll be tanking the Jad hit because it is a task. It is a hundred points, but I think I'd rather the fire cape because it will help me in every final fight going forward. Oh, there it is. There it is. I had one misclick. 38 minutes. I didn't get the I didn't get the under 35, but we got the fire cape. I'm not going to cash this one in. Um, I need this one for the fight. I do want to do it again eventually. Try to beat that 35 minutes. I got pretty good at double attacking each one mage hit. And I know I could beat it under 35 minutes, but whew, I didn't get it to like wave 30 or 30, 53 or so. But there is the fire cape points. Okay, let's keep sending tasks. I know that probably slowed me down for tasks, but 15 more till next region. No way we'll get it this episode, but we'll sure get close. So... My heart is pounding. I look so old school in this setup. Damn, I'm loving it. So while killing Bloodvelds, I actually got another rare drop table drop, which was 100 silver. Um, and I've just made them all into bars and making them into tiaras. I think I've got enough. I think I've easily got enough, actually, to get us to uh, 84 crafting. So that would be very nice to do. I believe Zenite Rings are 89 crafting, so we're really not that far. The issue is I think I need like 92 magic or something. Um, to enchant the Zenite Ring. So that's probably going to be the issue with that. The crafting is pretty simple, I think. Uh, so 92 magic will be a bit of a feat. But once we have a recoil, it'll be, or oh, suffering, it'll be insane because we won't forget to put our recoils on and we'll be able to store as many as we want in there, meaning we get the maximum amount of damage um, without having to worry about wasting inventory slots and stuff. So uh, yeah, that will be incredibly nice. And obviously the defensive bonuses will be good too. Here we go, this will be the last one, that is 84 crafting coming in, so let's make full black dehyde and wear it for another task. There we go, there's the dehyde body, let's put that in there and let's grab that, that and that. And boom, that should be another task and making Zora a lot easier, 100 points coming in, taking us to 13k points now. Just sent a cheeky Hunlith there to get some points, 100 points for completing the gauntlet, very very nice. And we are going to get drag. Oh, no. Oh, my God. The RNG on this account is nuts. That's an armor seed. Um, we can make a crystal helm. So it's actually 70 smithing we need. And we're just a little bit off being able to do that. Um, because we've got 46, I believe, crystals. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got everything ready. I've got food and everything for the fight. So I think I'm just going to go and kill some blood velds. Next up, I believe we're going to do the haunted mine quest for another 50 points and a completion of a task. All right, just cut this quest complete. 22k XP and strength. Holy crap. Hold on one sec. What's 22,000 times by 12? 264k strength XP. Wow. Okay, nice. Well, we have to now get this enchanted. Uh, we first need to put a ball of wool on it. And we have to do Tarn's Lair, long story short. So let's get to that. Get this enchanted. Get that book and wear it for another 50 points and a task done. All right, ball of wool, make the salve, use the book on this, 
Equip it. Ooh, that was a cool animation. And boom, there we have it. This actually does not stack with the black mask. Cool little piece of information. There's no way I'm going to get 12 tasks in this episode. What I do need is a trident. I mean, I guess I guess the main goal is to get the tent whip. It's like three times rarer from here than the trident. So the main goal is to get the trident and then take that trident and kill the uh, the big daddy kraken. Um, we do have 75 magic now, which means we can wield the trident when we get it. And we can now cast fire wave. So decided to spend my last 15 minutes got a kraken task just gonna sit here it's one out of 66 i actually have the drop rate i think i have around 66 to 70 kills what the hell is going on in there what okay anyways let's not concern ourselves with that but wow okay we actually have 76 magic first kill that would have been really funny but unfortunately we did not get it but anyways 13 minutes of kraken maybe we'll get it maybe we won't i just got it guys this is my fourth kill <sighs> what i mean i'm actually past drop rate technically okay i didn't expect to honestly get it truthfully um i need deaths i need chaoses fire runes and coins right oh should i just start sending some kraken kills i mean i think we just wield it and that's a task oh my gosh it is a task all right, guys, here we are. The final fight. The gear setups look in the exact same except for the fire cape. I would say the biggest upgrade of the fire cape isn't the strength bonus. It's the prayer bonus that I get with it. We're still bringing three prayer pots, though, just in case, because if I do run out of prayer, that is just throwing away the fight. We do have the super anti because he tried the decent last time. It completely flopped. I'm assuming he's going to bring his DDP this time, so I will bring that. Um, of course, I have the DDP, an extra recoil, and um, sharks, and the four Karamblon. So, not much to say, because it's very similar from last fight, but hopefully we can still get this fight. He might have the tier 6 relic. If he does, then we are absolutely shot. But, I'm to be honest, I'm just excited to see what region he picked. Um, and the fact that I don't have my region yet, I might be able to counteract it. So, I will see you guys in the reveal and for the final fight. Hey yeah, nice. Hello, mate. Hey, Blondie boy over there. How we doing? <laughs> yeah, not bad, mate. Not bad. So, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mentioned it at the start of my episode, but you know I went Elven Lands. You know what my plan is. Yes. You well, know about... the bare bones of yeah, the plan. Yeah, ba the bare bones. You know that the toxic trident works in here. Venom is possible. Um, and to be honest, we had a little chat on it uh, but off camera. I want to know your thoughts, because obviously my whole thing is to either force you to go Elven Lands to counteract that, or... You go and get God Wars and Piety and all that, and then can't counteract my Venom, or at least can't get anti-Venom. So, I mean, that was the main bare bones of my plan. So, what you, what are you thinking there? It's tricky. It's hard to think about. Right now, I'm still thinking as Garnia. Right. Now, I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, one way's obvious, and other people think, oh, the other way's obvious. But you have to remember that you can't get Barrows, mm -hmm. and it's not the easiest for you to get bandos mm -hmm. definitely not impossible but you're gonna have to put a lot of time into it if you do want to go down that route maybe sacrifice other upgrades so even with venom i mean i'd have i have no idea how many anti-poisons i'd have to bring to try to negate that i don't know if it's like three four five i i have no idea that, and i but, think that's that's a crucial part like if it's just like two or three that's not game breaking but if you find out like shit i need to bring like seven that's that's you done you know yeah but also i have to factor in the fact that i'll have a defender heidi yeah dragon true, boots true, true, so true, true. It, it's it's it, there's no cut and dry clear right answer to this and and that's why i had to do it mate because i fucked up with last recall there's no way i'm out doing you at, at god wars if, if I went down the Barrows route, I'd just be behind you. I had to put you into some position where you couldn't just have a straight line to winning, you know? So that that's my plan. It's Dude, to, just for my side of things, I still didn't unlock my next region. 11 tasks. So I'll 100% get it next. Points, 11,810. Okay, all right. What did, I'm scared that you actually have the next relic. I was thinking about it, and I... It just depends what you decided to do this episode. Obviously, you have the new region, so there's probably a shit ton of tasks you could just fucking I, send. I did a bit of both. 
Um, I currently have 13,170 okay. 13, points, so I'm 1,800 Ooh. away. I have, okay. I actually still have my list up. It's in front of me right now. That it's like seven or eight very easy tasks that aren't going to be difficult to complete that gets me there. So yeah, I'd say one to two hours into next episode, I should have the tier six relic. Wow. Yeah. That's, Surprised that's you didn't rush thing. that then. Uh, I felt like I needed to do a few other things. Do you want to just throw on that one different item? Let's let's do that first, because if we put all the gear on all right, and then right. there's one thing different, I mean, we'll probably be able to pinpoint what it is. So. Where, where's your slot? I mean, do you want to? Well, no, because if we again, if we say that, it's oh, I don't know what he's got. He's got a tent whip. He's got a tent whip. Of course he fucking does. He went to crack it. I don't. Oh, wow. Do okay. Do, do you want to guess I what I've try. got? <laughs> well, first of all, I, so I, I, I did crack in the last. Remember when we got in a call? And I yeah. mentioned how I just like didn't try too hard the last like twenty minutes. Yeah, I that's what I went to crack it, and I right. got the uh, got the trident. trident. And I was oh, like, wow, "Are you nice. fucking kidding me?" And then I was like, "Of course I'm gonna send like five kills before I uh, yeah. Yeah, go yeah, meet yeah, up yeah. with Link." Um, but no. And I'm guessing no. for for your plan, a trident doesn't really help in any way. So I mean, obviously it might evolve, but like trident isn't huge for you, is it? It is to get the tent, you know, just so I can kill a crack. I guess, faster. I guess. But yeah, yeah. that is the only reason that I could see fit right. for okay. it. But anyways, it's a fire cape. That is... Oh, nice. Congratulations. My upgrade. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. After my fucking attempts, I didn't even fucking try, mate. I, d I forgot it. I forgot it. I was, yeah. in I was in Prif. Tazar didn't exist for fucking six hours. I'll tell you that. Uh, so, wow, to be okay. fair, dude, if with a black mask, you don't even have to attack the healers. Yeah, that's a bit... You that, just, that's huge. You just kill Jad. Yeah. That's so, huge. Yeah, fair. Okay. It definitely... It's a lot easier. All right. Um, I'll show you my Eden then. And... Oh, okay. Oh, well, it's not the cape. This is accidental, mate. It's accidental. And, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Rare drop table. Out of nowhere. Wasn't even planning on it. So, yeah. I can't not take it. I don't think poisoning it does anything, because the attack, the special attack, doesn't actually... Uh, you know, do any damage. So I don't think the poison actually does anything, but I poisoned it just in case. Well, I, I did bring anti-poison, so okay. oh, I, I always have my anti-poison. Let me know, Kim, so. so I'd like to know that little that little snippet of fact, whether you do get poisoned or not from it. But yeah, so... Uh, I, this is the thing, like, if I can unlock the next, you know, unlock, which I will, then this thing could become very, very, very deadly. I'm actually scared it's going to be game breaking almost. We'll have to see, mate. We'll have to <laughs> but see. the thing is, like, if you're stunning, you're not attacking. Because you, I mean, I know when PKers do it, someone's like a dedicated stunner. So, so, so I, oh. I looked into it. So I stun you, and you get stunned for three seconds, which with the double melee, I'm getting about three hits. Interesting. So I don't know. I, I brought it to see what it's like. You know, I, th I feel like we're very much in the stages of having to test things right now. And I, I want to see what this is going to be like, you know, so. Yeah. And, and it has a 100% chance of working. You know, it's not like the Dragon Simi that isn't going to do anything. So, yeah. What's the, uh, I mean, not without the relic, obviously. What's the spec percentage on it? Uh, it is 25. So with the relic, it will go down right. to 20. So I'll get an extra one if I was spamming. Right, right, right. So nothing huge, but obviously the regen would be pretty big on it. Mm. So we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, yeah, that's we'll my see, difference. We'll see. That's my difference. Uh, I didn't actually bring my wit. Oh, yeah, I did bring my wit with me. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. I mean, everything else everything is the same for me. Same yeah. exact inventory. Oh, actually, I got a few levels. Because I did a lot of slaying. Oh yeah, <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I got eighty nine defense, ninety four strength, ninety two attack. Okay, that's uh, that's a pretty pretty big upgrade from last time. Yeah, I mean you did say you were slaying the whole time, yeah, so after you said much. that, it's I kind of expected it a little bit. So uh, all right, let's um let's fire it in, in this. Let's do it. I get first hit this time, right? Yeah, whenever you are ready. All right, man. Before. Good luck, good luck. Two second warning. Okay. All right, that looks good. 
Oh, uh, I, I. Is he poisoned? Is he poisoned? Come on, hit. Oh, so it gives you one extra hit. Gives me one extra hit, yeah. Okay, that's definitely not as OP as I thought. Come on, hit. No! Oh, I see it. I see what he's going for, okay. Because you can't eat when you're stunned, right? He dropped a shark. Yoink! <laughs> you know it, bro. I'll take the hit for it. Boom. Come on, hit. Hit. Zero fast all oh, around, geez. man. Oh, I don't know why I ate there. Actually, I, I'm glad I ate. You got the spear. I gotta be careful. Can't be taking risks. Legit. Come on. Come on. Hit. Not poisoned. I'm not happy about that. Any poison on your side from this? No. Yeah, I'm guessing it doesn't poison. <laughs> Zero zeros. Thank you. I mean, I poked the seven. I don't know if that got the poison in. Was that a cheeky try, or was that just because it was so... It was. Hard? No, it was a try. It was a try. Respect the fact that you're not telling me if you're poisoned. I mean, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'm so bad with that. I'm so bad at doing that. Yeah, he's not poisoned. He's not poisoned. That's annoying. That's annoying. Zero zero yes. no tank it tank it another hit another hit come on come on hit him oh, the inventory gets so messed up when doing that so messed up yeah I'm sure Close one. I think it is, mate. I think it is, yeah. Hit. Hit. Yes. Oh, huge hits. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's out. Are you out? Yeah. Oh, I'm smited. What the fuck am I doing? Jesus Christ. The recoil got me. How many food? Four. Four shark. Oh, okay. Ooh. Dude, that spear sucked, bro. I was going to come out and say it. It didn't do anything, did it? Yeah, you got one extra. So you got four extra hits on me. It didn't even poison. I mean, I had an ante anyway. Oh, man. Fuck. Well, GZ, man. GZ. Who knows? That spear could be very different once that next relic comes in, though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna bring it to the next one to see. Um, because I, I think I think with the unlimited, well, not unlimited spec, but a lot of spec, it probably will be a bit better because it'll be a lot more hits for free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but right now, yeah, you're right. I don't think it did too much. But you know what? I'll take it. We got the win. We got the win. Oh, dude, here we are. Oh, I don't know what the hell just happened.